a young man did today uh, when we were out street preaching and this is the second time this has happened here in Wigan except for this time there's not blood on it we're hated without a reason perhaps uh, perhaps some good news would be uh, maybe you're gonna have a become a mum or a dad I just became a dad in 2019 amazing news you know what's the best news that you could hear this very day what would be the best news what about this one okay this very day, you could know that you could have your sins forgiven, you could have a mansion in the sky, you could have uh, eternal life, and you could get to gaze on the almighty creator God forever and ever. And it's all you have to do is come and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the one who rose from the dead. I wonder, friends, what do you think of Jesus Christ? Do you think he's a good dude? The man with the blue caps, he's a good Why is he a good dude? Tell me why he's a good dude. He's the best dude, this guy said. Well, I'm asking you, what, what, what do you think of this God man, Jesus Christ? Uh, what do you think of this person that rose from the dead? What do you think of him? Uh, we've got a friend here. Well, there's a man over and he's ripped up a John's Gospel. I'd like to ask that man why he's done such a, a vandalist thing, you know, if that's even a word. Why have you ripped up a Gospel, you know? Well, okay, thank you, sir. It's this man, I asked this man, can I just have that? Sorry. Uh, this, we, we were giving out John's Gospels, fair enough, you might not agree with it. We were giving out portions of the Bible, and uh, a young man's ripped it up and given it back. That's fine. Uh, and I asked him why, and he said, because my dad's left me. Now, can I, can I pull this back to you, sir? Did, was it God who made your dad leave, or did your dad do it? God created man. Well, people. No, God gave you freedom of choice. Yeah, yeah. God gave him. Free God gives us choices. Okay. God doesn't make anyone do it. Some people say, you know, why did God uh, allow that that man to go into a school and shoot kids or whatever? Why did God allow that? God didn't pull the trigger. It was the man who did it. What did Jesus say? Do not murder. What does the Bible? What, the very Ten Commandments, which were written by the finger of God. What does it say? Thou shalt not murder. So we know God is against murder. But God gives us free will. He gives us choices. Now, again, I'm a married man. Now, if I forced my wife to love me, is that really love? It's not, is it? And those of you who are in love, you want your partner to love you back. You want them to, to choose to love you. And likewise, God wants that from you. He doesn't force himself on anyone. He's a gentleman. So those of you who say, God... <laughs> You know, why did, why did I, God allow this to happen in my life? Why not? God gives us freedom of will and we can choose to love him or we can choose to hate him. We can choose to accept him or we can choose to reject him. And my question to you, friends, is we can choose to accept him. A young man today, we gave him a, a portion of the Bible and he's done this. He's, he's ripped it up. Now he's chosen to, to reject it. And God still loves that young man. God still sent his son to bleed and die on a cross for that young man. And if that young man will turn, will repent of his sins, God can give him eternal life. And so, so for you as well. If you call out to Jesus, the one who died on a cross, he'll forgive you. He'll, he'll come and, and he'll come into your life and he'll change you. He'll, he'll turn your life around and he'll give you forgiveness of sins. Now, um, if you leave with one thought, I'm going to wrap up in a minute. Um, but if you leave with one thought, here's the thought I want you to leave with. In the Bible it says, without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. Without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And someone had to shed their blood because you and I have done wrong. I, I don't know you, but I bet you there's someone who can hear my voice now who's watched wrong things on the internet, rude things on the internet. Am I right or am I wrong? I, I don't know you, but I bet there's someone going by now who's told lies before. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know you, but I, I reckon there's probably someone going by who's stolen something before, who's used God's name as a swear word, OMG, I, I'm, just, I'm just being honest, I'm, I'm sure that's the case, and I've done these things too. The fact of the matter is, guys, we're sinners, and we need someone to die for us, but not just anyone, we need the righteous Son of God, the one who never told lies, the one who never used blasphemy, the one who never stole anything, the one who never looked with sinful eyes on any one who was perfect, that one, Jesus, died on a cross for you. You might think it's boring, you might think it's nonsense, but I'll tell you, one day when you die, you'll face this God. And the Bible says we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And my question to you is, are you ready? 
None of us know when we're going to die. None of us know when it's our time. Young people die as well as old. And you'd be very wise to consider the one who rose from the dead. So please, this very day, consider Jesus Christ. Ten out of ten people die. Is that right or wrong? It's right. I, am I speaking rubbish when I say that? Ten out of ten people die. 150,000 people die every single day. And you need to come to the one, Jesus, who can beat your grave. Consider this one today. Again, uh, a young man, we gave him a portion of the Bible and he ripped it up. If you see, it's all ripped to pieces and he gave it back to us. Put the offers out there to anyone else. If anyone wants to take one, you can take it for free, read it and consider this good news that Jesus loves you.